Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the parallel universe. We do happen to have a bit of a lighting issue. Not sure what's going on, hopefully it won't collapse on me. So you can use any playing card. Advertising cards are good if you don't want to spoil a deck. So you're going to take a card and then you're going to fold it exactly in half. Make a good crease down there. And then you're going to fold this in half again, so it's like in in quarters, both sides. Now these are great little illusions because you can actually hand the card to the spectator. They can take it away with them and they can try their hardest to work out how you did it. So give those some nice folds, nice tight folds, sharp folds, then fold it in half, long ways. Fold it in half again, and once fold this in half. So this is in quarters. Make sure those are real nice sharp creases. Makes it just a bit easier to do the special fold. So you'll have a card which is folded up into um, 16 segments. Fold it in half. Find the first crease, which should be like a quarter of the way down the card and you're going to rip that crease to the centre of this part of the card. So you're going to rip that to the centre fold and then you're going to take it from that quarter there and rip it down to the centre. Just like that. So you will end up with a hole just like that. So you're going to get your spectator to hold on to this flap and hold on tight and don't let go. Now, like I said, in performance, you do need to put this under a table, cover it with a coat, get them to close their eyes, whatever you want to do, but they cannot see the magic. They can feel the magic, but they cannot see it. So they're going to be holding on to this flap. I should have had the other card, shouldn't I? I can still show you. The spectator is going to hold on to this flap. You're going to fold this end over, you're going to fold this end over, but importantly when you're in this position you want the spectator to look and say what are you looking at. A lot of times they'll say a playing card but if they're looking at the face or the back make note of that or get them to sign this part of the card and say look you're looking at your signature on the blue side. Important they remember. So you're going to fold the two ends in, you're going to fold the two sides in and you've got one of two options now if you fold it the wrong way, it just won't unfold. So you can, you, you'll only, if you fold it this way, the card will not fold anymore. If you fold it this way, you can then keep unfolding the card and you would have literally taken that card, folded it and pushed it through the hole because now they will be looking at the red side and the blue side is underneath. Now that is a great little illusion. What confuses people is they're never paying attention as to where this flap is. Because at the start, on the red side, the hole is to the left. So you're going to fold the two ends in, fold the two sides over, unfold the card, and now they would be looking at the blue side and the hole is here to the right. That flies past most spectators. They'll never remember what side the hole's on. They'll just be a bit confused as to how the how did this happen? They will then try all this. A lot of people have, have never got anybody to actually be able to fold it straight away. So that's it guys, it's a great little illusion. Like I say, this is a bit of a keepsake for the spectator to try themselves. So once again, you're gonna fold the two ends in. You'll fold the two sides into the middle. And like I say, this last fold, it will only go one way. If you fold it this way, it just won't unfold. So you know you've gone wrong, just fold it the other way and you would have literally taken that card, folded it up, pushed it through that hole, and that is a parallel universe. So make sure to smash the like button guys, subscribe to the Gaft Academy, and we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.